A 64-year-old man present to your office complaining of worsening exertional dyspnea over the last two months. He's retired for eight years and noticed that he usually works in his garden. But recently, he has not been able enough to work because he feels shortness of breath after walking a short distance. He doesn't notice chest pain while working, but he has experienced some episodes of retrosternal pain in the past. He also has experienced lightheadedness while climbing stairs, but symptoms went away when he sat down. Sometimes he wakes up at night due to shortness of breath that is relieved by sitting upright and dangling his legs over the bed. His feet are swollen and it gets worse at the end of the day. He has no diseases and denies taking any medications. He doesn't smoke or drink. On physical examination, his blood pressure is 120 75th millimeter of mercury, respiratory rate of 80 per minute, pulse rate is 88 per minute, oxygen saturation is 95% and there is no sign of fever. His head has no significant problem but these tan and neck veins can be seen. On chest examination, by basilar inspiratory crackles are heard or auscultation. On cardiac examination, heart rhythm is normal. S1 is normal and a splitting S2 sound during expiration is heard and S4 can also be heard at the apex. A light peaking systolic murmur at the right upper sternal border is also detected. Now it is time to answer the questions. First, what is the most likely diagnosis? Second, which test do you order to confirm a diagnosis? And what is the treatment? We suggest you think a bit about his questions first, then keep on watching the rest of the video. Now let's answer the questions. The most likely diagnosis is congestive heart failure, probably due to aortic stenosis. Because of the late systolic murmur which is radiating to the carotid and a splitting S2 sound. Heart failure is a disorder in which the structure or the function of the heart is affected, that impairs the ventricle's ability to eject the blood out of the heart. Symptoms may be a result for low cardiac output or systolic dysfunction. Common symptoms include fatigue and weakness, shortness of breath with activity and in severe form it can happen even when lying down, peripheral edema, rapid and irregular heartbeats, reduced exercise tolerance, and sometimes lethargy. Congestive heart failure has three main types. First is left-sided heart failure, means when left ventricle is no longer able to pump enough blood through the body. The second one is right-sided heart failure, occurs when the right ventricle is not able enough to pump blood to the lungs that can cause blood building up in the veins that bring blood to the lungs. This can lead to leak out fluid out of the veins and accumulate in the tissues, especially peripheral tissues. And the last type is by ventricular heart failure means when both ventricles has impaired function or structure. To determine the exact cause of the heart failure, echocardiogram is used in this patient to assess aortic valve and also ventricular function. In this patient, the echocardiography approved aortic valve dysfunction. According to progressive nature of disorder in this patient and turned the angina into the heart failure over time passing, and also aortic valve dysfunction in the old age of patient, he should undergo urgent evaluation to assess the need for valve replacement. Preoperative catheterization need to be performed to assess the aortic valve condition. Now let's see what is the best treatment for heart failure. Heart failure has many causes, but it is necessary to identify the reversible and treatable causes to prevent further dysfunction. There are some main types of medications for chronic heart failure to reduce the progression rate, relieve the symptoms, and decrease mortality rate. The first type is beta blockers. They can reverse and prevent myocardial remodeling and dysfunction. Second is angiotensin converting enzyme or ACE inhibitors. They reduce preload and afterload, thereby reducing right pulmonary and right atrial pressure. This medication are first choice of treating heart failure. Diuretics are used to decrease preload, especially in the acute form. And nitrous and nitrous reduce preload and decrease pulmonary congestion. 